Greetings, I am Rajkumar Parashari and I love doing physics. Today I am here with the Z Advanced 2020 physics solution of question number 6. I expect that you have read this problem several times. According to the problem, there is an open-ended U-tube of uniform area of cross-section that contains water. So here is a U-tube of uniform area of cross-section that contains water. The level of water on either side is 0 0.29 meters. Now, now what has been done? Kerosene oil, kerosene oil of density 800 kg per meter square is added to the left arm until its length is 0 0.1 meter. Now you see, so what has been done? Kerosene is added in the left arm of the tube. The length of the kerosene in the left arm is 0 0.10 meters. Now the, as the kerosene is added in the left arm, the level of water column drops say by an amount x. So whatever is the amount water level drops in the left arm, the same by the same amount, the level of water should rise in the right arm. And we have been asked to find H1 upon H2. So H1 is the level of the liquid column in the left arm and H2 is the level column in the right arm. Now let's proceed. Now we'll use the concept that the pressure is same at the same level. It is always advisable to choose one point on the interface of the two liquids. Let's assume this point to be A. On the other side at the same level there is a point B. Now Pressure at point A should be same as pressure at point B and above point A we have the kerosene of height 0.1 meters. So the pressure at A, the total pressure at A should be P0 plus H of kerosene, density of kerosene into G. On the other side, pressure at point B, that should be equals to P0 plus 2X into density of water into G. Hope you understand that 2x is height of water column above point B. So this distance got to be 2x. Now next, P0 and P0 that should cancel. The height, height of kerosene above point A, this is equals to 0 0.10. The density of kerosene is given in the numerical. This is equals to 800 kg per meter cube and the value of g that that will be cancelled. So this is equals to 2x and the density of water this got to be how much this got to be 1000. Okay now next now 0 and this decimal will go away and the next point this 0 and this 0 will go away so the value of x the value of x is equals to 8 by 200 or this is equals to 4 by 100 meters or 0 0.04 meters. Now next, let's see that how much is H1. You see, this is equals to, this separation is equals to 0 0.29 minus X and that is why H1 is equals to how much? 0 0.29 minus X plus 0 0.1 meters and this is equals to 0 0.29 minus 0 0.04 plus 0 0.1 meters. This is equals to how much? This is equals to 0 0.35 meters. Is that right? Also, H2 is equals to this distance, this separation. This separation is equals to 0 0.29 meters and you need to add X. To get the value h2 h2 is equals to 0 0.29 plus x this is equals to 0 0.29 plus 0 0.04 and this is equals to 0 0.33 meters and thus h1 by h2 is equals to 0 0.35 divided by 0 0.33 equals to 35 by 33. So the correct option happens to be B. So thank you so very much for staying till the end of the video. God bless you.